Now to a fish fight between a mayor and a former MP on the battleground of Moreton Bay Marine Park. In the past six years, $50 million has been spent cleaning up the waters devastated by urban runoff. Now that the park's looking considerably healthier, business is looking to profit. A former Tasmanian MP is pushing a controversial aquaculture project to provide a ready source of seafood for an insatiable market. But environmentalists and local councils, led by Brisbane Lord Mayor Jim Sawley, say the conservation stakes are too high. Cathy McLeish has the story. When we start this process, we will be at the cutting edge of the technology that's available. We're not going to allow this clown, and that's what he is, an environmental clown, to uh, take Moreton Bay backwards. Moreton Bay has become a battleground between the masterminds of its recovery and those who now see a business opportunity. Just six years ago, the entire catchment was heavily degraded. Vegetation, sediments, nutrients and heavy metals from urban runoff had devastated the western side of Moreton Bay, threatening rare, vulnerable and endangered species in the Marine National Park. Conservationists and government responded by launching the Healthy Waterways program, local councils spending $50 million to repair the damage. More spin you will, sir. Moreton Bay's recovery is being closely monitored. It has a very large catchment that has over two million people living in it. And so there's already a lot of human impacts on the bay, even without any further development. An aquaculture proposal for the farming of fin fish in sea cages similar to these was therefore bound to create waves. Julian Amos is the director of Sun Aqua, the company behind the plan. We are in the general use zone of the marine park. That is, commercial fishing takes place, anything, uh, any other activities take place as a general use, we can operate there as well. Sun Aqua predicts up to 2,400 tonnes of snapper and yellowtail kingfish could be produced each year, worth $15 million. With the stakes so high, Julian Amos, a former Tasmanian Labor Minister, stresses the project will create jobs in Queensland. You've got the, on the, the value added aspect, the processing of product, you've got the marketing of product, you've got the supply of fish feed, you've got the maintenance of cages, you've got the, the manufacture of the uh, polar cages. But Brisbane Lord Mayor Jim Sawley says the promise of jobs is overstated and any benefits would be outweighed by the potential cost to the environment. We will not allow this to happen in Moreton Bay. This guy wants uh, basically to lease 1,600 hectares of Moreton Bay and have management control of it and his stupid aquaculture project will put 130 tonnes of nitrogen back in Moreton Bay. We will be promoting within the EIS a very extensive and ongoing environmental monitoring program. We need to recognise that it is in our interest to keep the site clean. The water's obviously clear enough for the seagrass to get enough light down there, I guess. Yeah. Sun Aqua is prepared to scale down the fish farm to suit guidelines laid out when the environmental impact statement has been released. The Department of Primary Industry is backing the development of aquaculture. Principal research scientist Wayne Nibb believes it provides a scientific and sustainable solution to serious overfishing of wild stock. Our consumption is way ahead of our production. If we say, yes, go ahead and develop your sea cages, but don't do it in our backyard, then we may be denying ourselves the chance to do this thing right. The Queensland Conservation Council is urging a change of government policy so that aquaculture sea cages can never be placed in a marine park. This is the first sea cage aquaculture proposed for Queensland and there hasn't been a lot of research done, particularly on one of the types of fish that they're intending on using, the yellowtail kingfish. And we're concerned that the risks aren't known in this bay because there isn't a comparable place. The specific site is another source of contention. The sea cages to be located in the eastern and most pristine part of Moreton Bay. We need to be in 20 metres of water because the fish need to move up and down the water column. If we were in a more shallow area, then we would not be able to operate the fish farm. Those who make a living on the bay fear tourism will be traded off with the environment. 
are we going to put a fish farm in that will wipe out things like seagrass beds, dugongs, turtles, dolphins, whales? I mean, you know, the whole thing is that this is actually starting to become a whale resting site. Whales and sea cages are big, as big as four ANZ stadiums just doesn't go together. The Department of State Development has smoothed out the approval process by declaring the Sun Aqua proposal a significant project. The mayors of South East Queensland will get 100,000 people protesting on the shores of Moreton Bay if this proposal uh, looks like being approved. I can understand people being concerned. Anything new that happens, especially in Moreton Bay, which is a sensitive area, will excite interest. Uh, it is our responsibility and our role to ensure that their concerns are met and that their concerns are, at the end of the day, ill-founded. Sun Aqua is confident it won't need to fish for support. Science should determine whether the project gets the go-ahead. <laughs>